In this video, we're going to look at a simple marine biology game for kids and adults called Ocean Bingo. Ocean Bingo is a kid-approved and family-friendly game and it has brought our family hours of genuine joy to our game table. I have learned lots of different types of ocean creatures through playing this simple game, but best of all, it really does have something appealing for every one of us, so let's go! I'm Leanne and I have taught kids for almost 20 years and I help parents have fun while teaching the kids the skills they need. So if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out the description box below where I'll post the links to all the games and videos that I mentioned today. Here's what comes in the box. You get this gorgeous quad fold large bingo board with 64 ocean creatures the 64 matching ocean creature tokens that come in a beautiful linen bag as well as the bingo cards for each player. This will be a great game if you're looking for a simple game that young kids can be involved in and actually take away some learning while they're playing. What sort of shell animal is very naughty? Know that one? No. A and naughty -less. This game would really be great to use as a jumping off platform to intrigue kids and get them interested in marine biology. Which is how I use it in what I call strewing, when we leave thematic books, toys, games, hands-on activities and get into experiences that encourage kids and give them the opportunity to take interest in a subject and own their learning. Or if they've covered it as a unit in school, you can also use it to continue to develop their interest in ocean biology. So this is bingo and it doesn't get very complicated, but here's how we played it as a family. We each took turns to be the caller by selecting a token from the bag and then giving clues and descriptions to other players for them to guess. So a fish wears a song on its body. You know that one? Suck eye salmon. If we had the ocean creature on our bingo card, we covered it with the yellow counters and then let our youngest have the honor of looking for the corresponding match to place the creature tokens on the board as a record. Now we live in cities that have aquariums and we had annual passes that we could use. We wanted an easy way to introduce the creatures before we went to visit in a fun, playful manner so that the kids might recall them when we saw them at the venue or play this game after the visit and talk about which creatures we recognised from our trip. What sort of seal plays a musical instrument? A harp seal. I wanted an enjoyable resource that would be visually appealing for an adult to play, clean to look at, and yet colourful enough to enchant the children. Something that even old folks might enjoy playing while they too appreciate the artwork. And Ocean Bingo has been just that, to introduce and learn about these various sea creatures, some of which I had never heard of before. What do you get between the cross of a lion and a giant fish? And being giant fish. There is a lot of information given in the accompanying guidebook and you could not possibly remember everything in one round of this game. But it is nice to find tidbits of information to read aloud from the book while everyone looks for their matches on their bingo cards. What would have been better is if they had fun facts printed on the reverse side of the tiles as well. And then that way we could read off instead of making our own descriptions or breaking the momentum by searching through the book. So sharp is the ugliest. Oh, goblin shark. Because we play with younger kids, we are also mindful of their shorter attention spans, so the winner is the first to find five in a row. If you have the luxury of time, you could play to be the first to finish and mark off all the creatures on your bingo card. I would love it if you could like this video and comment down below what is your favourite ocean creature. If we knew in advance that we'd be headed to an aquarium shortly, we always take this game out a few days before. But sometimes we like to go impromptu and we don't plan ahead and so we play it soon after we return. That way the creatures that the kids have seen are still fresh in their memory and they can either try to recall it when they see it in the tanks or remember what they saw when we see it on the board. So penguins made a pasta. A macaroni penguin. Hmm. 
Another thing we do is to write a little sentence about our trip and something memorable we did, learn or saw. Sometimes it's specific to an animal, other times we write about fun diversions we've had at the venue. I also tried to find inspiring literature to read aloud to the children, related loosely around the topics. Sometimes I've read to them about specific places like the Great Barrier Reef, or individuals who have made contributions to the marine biology sciences. And then I also leave around age-appropriate book titles that they can pick up from our open shelves to read if it so interests them. For this theme on oceans, we've read poems on ocean creatures from Eric Carle's Animal Animal, National Geographic's Book of Animal Poetry. We've also been reading from the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library as well as leaving pages open from these beautifully illustrated books like DK's Wonders of Nature and National Geographic Little Kid's first big book of the ocean, as well as DK's Ocean Visual Encyclopedia. If you want to learn about using games to teach kids, make sure to check out the playlist in the links below or at the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.